In today's video, I'll show you guys how to tie the marabou jig. The marabou jig is my all-time favorite on catching trout, but it also works for many other species as well, such as crappies. I like to use the marabou jig during trout opening day, especially when fishing for trout in moving waters. Let me show you how to tie this basic jig. I want to make an assumption that you have some sort of lure tying vice. If not, check out the description below as I have left a link to a basic kit that comes with everything you need, such as a vice, bobbin pin, whip finishing tool, etc. Crystal flash will add some flash to your lure, but it is not mandatory, but I will be using this in this video. Marabou J is going to have marabou. Olive is my favorite color. And then you need some matching chenille. I like to use medium for 1 16th ounce and thin for 1 32nd. I primarily use 1 32nd and 1 16th ounce jig. This is 1 16th ounce jig. I like to add color to the jigs via powder paint. For a tutorial on how to paint these lead head jigs with powder paint, see the card on the top right hand corner or look for the URL within the description of this video. I use 140 UTC line and I like to use it with the same color of my chenille and everything so it's olive green. Start off by clamping your jig in this position and start securing your thread from the head of your jig head and go a little past the barb. Then you want to work your way back up the barb again. And then this is where you take your marabou and it comes in a bundle like this and you want to take out one for tying. Sometimes you may have a pack of feathers that are extra long. It is a way to use the entire feather because the bulk of the good feathers are in the back of this one marabou feather. So I like to trim the top part and carefully put that on the side as I could use the other combined tips and create another jig. So I'll be actually using the back part of this feather. As you can see, this back portion is asymmetrical and it has a lot of good feathers at the back end. So what I like to do is I like to combine these all together you want to work it together and you want to get the length just about as long as the shank and you want to align it to where the point is. Lightly wrap your line around the shank of the hook. Then you want to adjust the feathers into position and then you tighten everything else and you want to bring your line back. Next we're going to add some flash. Take one strand out, half it, then cut it, half it again and do another cut and then this time you're going to half it again but you're not going to cut it you're going to wrap this around your thread and then you're going to secure that onto your hook after you secure it now you, what you want to do is adjust the strand so it goes all around your marabou feather take your time and then you secure the wraps you want to secure the wraps around the flash so that it stays in place, cut off any excess or messed up ones. Then you want to add your chenille as shown as here. You want to secure the end of the chenille at the end of the hook, just like that. Then bring the line all the way to the front of the head of the jig head. Then you wrap the chenille all the way to the front of the head, leaving just a little gap so that you can work your lines, what you want to do is secure the end of the chenille at the head of the jig. Cut off the ex excess chenille and start building the head. Take your whip finishing tool so you do your multiple half hitches. I like to do it a couple times just to get the bulk up. Then I'm going to use some UV epoxy here. You could just use your favorite head cement. I like to add it to the line and then do one more quick wrap here, quick finish, whip finish, then trim, and since it's UV epoxy, I could just put it in the sun or I could use my UV flashlight, give a quick shine, and this is done right there. I trimmed some of my flash so everything matches in length, and there you go, one completed marabou jig. So there you have it, that is how you tie the basic marabou jig. This is basically the standard on how to tie this basic jig, but depending on what you guys want, you guys can customize this jig into any other thing, such as a woolly bugger, which I can show you guys in a different video. You guys can add all sorts of colors, all sorts of flash, 
even use different materials, different type of hairs. As mentioned, the Marabou jig is one of my all-time favorite lure to use during trout season. And definitely, you will see this jig in action this spring. I hope you guys have found this video very useful. I hope you guys will be tying some Marabou jigs for this trout opening season, or heck, even for crappy fishing. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Remember guys, the fish don't wait. Get prepared, go fishing. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you got a pretty good one. Yeah, pick the, pick the net. Mine's small, so, oh, well, it's okay size, but I can handle it. Just trick a handle.